So this is part two. You see me do this part of the cover. Now I'm going to be um, working on the hidden spine. So what I've done is, um, obviously this has still got to be covered over, so just forget about that. <laughs> I've made uh, this thick piece of board with three pieces of Amazon packaging. You know when you get like something thin and you get it in one of those um, envelopes? Let me see if I can find one. Uh, probably not. I've got more tucked under here. But I think you know what I mean. They're the flat ones. So three pieces. Now I've made it so that it's just shy of um, the actual measurement of there. And that is a total of two and a half. This is two and a quarter. And because when that goes in, you want to be able to, obviously this bit and this bit needs to be able to close. Okay. So to start with, um, obviously it depends on the size of your journal. So I told you that was a two and a quarter. This is eight. I've got another piece of fabric here, which I am going to glue onto there. So we want that again to be bigger so that we can fold all this round, mitre that at the edge. So I'm going to use my glue, still got some in there. I'm going to put plenty on. Aim the game is plenty glue. <laughs> Because you need this to stick you don't want it to come away and we've we have to let this dry um i have to let it dry and we, we want that around the edges as well because obviously that there's some thickness dimension to that and sit that there so i'm just gonna pop that that's the same material i used and then painted um, from a cover so I just want to push that down need a wipe there to get rid of that okay let's get a bit of kitchen paper just in case I need it and so I'll push that down Mm, might add some more I think it's because this board um, I might actually put a bit of this on as well and mush it in with the other stuff or you could use fabri -Tac. I've got fabri -Tac. well not fabri -Tac, but I've got the the three in one so let's get that in there because we need that to be sticky I will be using the um, three in one at some point during this process. Okay, so start this bit again. So leaving a good bit all the way around the edge. We will stick this down. you could use like your bond folder just to okay then we will get some scissors i'm going to just mitre this the way i would i mitre everything else uh, like i said before some people do that you could do that glue that down and put it all over and make sure there's glue in there but i don't do it that way but there is more than one way to do lots of different things and I think we all get we all find our own our own way of doing certain things there we go so now we need a more glue I'm going to make sure there's plenty on there and put plenty on the top and the bottom and like I said make sure we get into these these bits along here I had actually somebody had said on yesterday's video about had I done 
a video process for this and this is why I'm doing it actually because I had said I had said I was going to try and do some more journal cover ideas anyway but um I wasn't really thinking when I answered it and said oh there's lots of videos out there <laughs> um and this you know but some of them are paid you know you've got to pay to watch um watch and learn which is fine So we fold that in. You're not going to see the back of this anyway, so don't worry about that not being even. And the same of this side. Now, if my sewing machine was better, I'd have done a stitch around that but I don't want to try don't want to chance it and wreck my machine so just make sure you glue it good and proper if you feel confident to run your this can of piece through your sewing machine then I fill your boots <laughs> I'm not um, need a little bit more glue up there and in there And that wasn't mitered very well. It is now. Oops, everything's falling around all over the place. I've got so much mess. Mess, mess, mess. <laughs> okay. Right, so that obviously needs to dry. All right, so I'm going to set that to one side. Now I've got another piece of that fabric. Let me just get that glue up. Um, and what I've did, or what I've done with that is, I know it's not even, but I'll trim that up in a minute. I folded it over to, hopefully it's the same size. Um, and that's it's kind of going to sit in there. Let me see. Um, yeah, I've ironed that over, so I've got my good my good crease there. I'm going to stitch right along there, and right along there, because the piece that I've just done, which is this, I will then glue into there with a fabric tack when that's dry, and then sew my signatures in, and then I will glue these bits down because I'm going to try and make this a hollow spine. This one, not a hidden spine. But we'll see. <laughs> just depends on how lucky I get here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and stitch that and I'll be back. Okay, so I've stitched along there and there. And I've leveled that off. And like I said, what I'm going to be doing is gluing that on with fabric tack when it's dry. Then sewing my signatures in. So what I'll do is I'll let the, this piece dry. I will then glue that central onto there. I will sew my signatures in. I'm not going to do that on camera because I just haven't got, with all the equipment that I've got around me, I haven't got the um, the room to do it all. This is the space I'm working in. Um, and I've still got to cut down all my papers to size. And then I'll just show you how I glue this bit in so that we have got either of a hidden spine or the hollow spine, whatever I decide to do at the end. Okay, so be back in a minute. Okay, so that is nice and dry now. So I'm going to use this green one. It stinks, but I have gave in and started using it because it is good. <laughs> right, and I'm going to central, center, sorry, that on there as best as I can, like that. But obviously, first of all, I'm going to do this. So. This, by the way, Amazon, two of these for £10 something. That's £10, you know, British sterling. So I don't know if you can get it cheaper in the US. Um, so I want, you want plenty of this on there. Plenty, plenty. And again, this is going to have to sit and dry naturally. I'm 
going to want it right up in them corners. And whilst this is drying, I'm going to do some stitching on some of my papers because this is going to be very similar to the one that I done yesterday or butterflies and things oof that's starting to really get up my nose there we go plenty 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 <laughs> right because I don't want this going nowhere right I'm only gonna lean that on there a little bit and I'm I'm gonna try and do that as best as I can just can't get my head right over and I'm gonna turn that over quickly push that down it sticks to your fingers because it's seeping through the fabric and then here I'm gonna put some all the way in there whoops because we don't want that not sticking so that needs to stick down as well do the other end just pop that down Oof. that stuff can make your eyes water Okay, get the lid back on that, sharpish. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to set that to one side. I'm just going to quickly show you the papers that I'm using. Make sure that's nice and I'm just going to set that to dry. Oof. Really does stink that stuff. So I've got my coffee dyed, but I've still got to trim them down. These are just coffee dyed like papers and we've got some squared paper there and some lined paper so like i said i've still got to trim them down but i have trimmed this lot down i've got another bundle um i folded them i'm going to stitch all these pockets in a minute whilst that's drying is that the right way up yeah i'm going to have a pocket back side i'm going to try and do it so that Every time I do a journal, all my pockets seem to be on the like the right hand side um, and on the flip side of everything. So I've tried to do this so that um, this is our teammates' papers. So we'll, we'll have some on both sides. And yeah, so that's that little bundle. Then we have this little bundle here. These are all digitals um, and I've folded them. Again, I'm not quite sure which way they're going to go in yet because they could be either way. This is from um, Bohemian Crafting on Etsy. And we have that one as well. It's gonna go in there. Uh, that one I've trimmed down a little bit. Uh, so it's this. Obviously I've been inspired to do this, these colors and things from Nick the Booksmith. Do love her journals, they're amazing. This one, I love how the coffee soaked through that. And this is done on my inkjet, but because I use a um, like a good photo paper, it didn't, it didn't, um, it only blurred it a little bit, just a little bit. And that was laying soaking in the puddle of water on my, my mat for a while. Um, but if that was just copy paper, that would have just ran everywhere. These are just little half pages that are gonna go in somewhere along the lines, somewhere in them signatures. Okay, so that's my papers. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna go and do some sewing on these whilst that's drying, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is all dry. I'm going to mark just this um, centerpiece here. So I've got three signatures for this journal, and I am gonna need my ruler. I've got my Tim Holtz ruler, because it's got the nice center zero there, which helps me a lot, a pencil. And I am just going to lightly mark the center. That will I'll rub that away. And from the center, I'm going to go out one, two, three, four, five, five eighths from the center, and then five eighths again from the center on the other side. That's how I do it. People use little templates, but this is how I do mine. So that measures. 
eight inches so I've got my center there I'm using that line as a guide and I'm just gonna stand up and make sure I'm pretty straight here because I don't want wonky signatures and I'm just gonna mark on the zero and then go out to the two and then do the same here out to the two and then find the other line make sure my ruler is at the four and the four which is the eight inches where's my line gone there it is <laughs> can't see it's because normally my head's right over to um to see this and then mark on the zero with my pencil and again on the two and on the two and do exactly the same where my other line is <coughs> oh, excuse me so that's all that's all done now i don't know what i've done with my rubber or eraser <laughs> We call it a rubber here because it rubs away. See a funny TikTok the other day. An American girl was like, she was literally gone off her head about this whole why we call it a rubber here. And in America, it's called an eraser. So anyway, I've got a little foam mat and a thick needle. To be quite honest, I might use my little awl um, because I've got to get through there's three layers on the fabric here, so punch and punch. And do the same. Whoops, can't get a good grip of that. <laughs> there we go. And If you don't have a little foam mat, you can use, you know, an old book and just punch through because the books are nice and thick. Okay. Um, I've got this linen thread, which I, it is wax, but it's not that waxy. So I'm going to, oh, first of all, actually, I'm not with it. I have to do exactly the same all my signatures so I'll do one so I've make sure all your you've got all your pages in the right form and they're all sitting where you want them to sit and they're all the right way up you can put clips on this to do that but I uh, I just do it this way so obviously this measures four inches I'm just going to go center, two, two. I'm going to use this because what I do is I just gather it, fold it in half, put that in, turn it around, push it through. That's just my way of doing it. There's, there's hundreds of ways to do this. I've seen people do it all different ways. I have actually got a cradle as well, but buried underneath loads of stuff so I'm going to do that with all the other two signatures I'm going to sew it into there I couldn't think what I was going to say sew it into there then I'll be back and show you how to attach this to the book cover okay okay so the signatures are all in and um, I just copied out I've got loads of cheesecloth but it's all still white so I've just quickly coffee dyed that and dried it it's nice and stiff now so I'm gonna glue that onto just this part here and just so that we get a little peeking of it at the top and the bottom so we'll use some fabri tac for that not fabri tac three in one three in one um Obviously, we don't really need a, a 
great deal of that because this stuff, the cheesecloth is really, really thin and it will stick very quickly to this. I didn't do this in the one yesterday, but I have done this before. I have done all this before, but I just haven't done videos. And maybe not the same way as well. But like everything, we learn new things all the time. Um, I did actually watch, and I've watched it many times, the video from Zoe Torfield. And she, but she done a curved spine. Um, I haven't mastered that one yet, I don't think. <laughs> um, so, oh, I've got a little cut in there and that glue just tinged a little bit. Um, yeah, that stings. <laughs> it's because this is solvent based. Okay. So I'll leave that a few minutes to dry. Yeah, going back to Zoe Torfield's videos. Hers was a curved spine, but um, she done more or less the same process, but she had done, you know, when there's like uh, modeling paste and you've done a design on it and I don't think I've got the patience for that. It, you know, I just about got the patience to do this part without having to do something intricate. Okay, right. I may want to leave that just a second for that to dry but basically what I will do is that will go there I'm just because I need the base of that to not be over any of them two lines if you can see that I um, don't know if my my light is any good but obviously where these two bits are going to fold up I don't want this base piece to be over any of them um no i'm gonna leave that a few seconds well a few minutes to let that dry completely because i don't want that being sticky and stick to there when i don't want it to stick to there because i'm going to try and do the hollow back if it don't work then it will be a just hidden spine <laughs> okay that's pretty dry right when you're doing this if you have got any form of directional material that you're using make sure you are putting this on the right way round <laughs> i'm just double checking to make sure i've sewn all my signatures in the right way okay right i'm gonna just to help it along the way a little bit i'm gonna put a bit of score tape just about there not right to the top and not right to the bottom just to get a grip Right, this one tears a little bit so I'll do some on both sides um, and I'm still going to use the three-in-one if you've got Fabri-Tac use that but you definitely do need a really good glue to do this to do this part now I'm going to do one side at a time she says <laughs> My fingers are so disgustingly gluey and painty from today. Okay, I'm going to run some along there as well. And I don't want that going all the way to the edge because you want this to lift a little bit. Don't matter if you go over because you're going to be covering this anyway. But you don't want to waste any of it either. Okay, right. This is going to be the tricky bit for me. So getting this in line without going over that line and making sure I've got enough space that side and it is pretty central like I said this is the tricky bit for me because oh and that's stinging that little tiny cut <laughs> um yeah if you've got little cuts be careful when you're using like Fabri-Tac or 3-in-1 Okay, now you really need that to dry, 
It's all my grubby fingers now. <clears throat> That's the reason I put the tape down as well, just to just a extra bit of adhesive along there. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry for about five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so that's pretty dry and I've checked it and it's folding okay. So I'm just gonna turn that around that away because that's a bit easier for me because I did actually have to lift that whilst it was drying and we stick it down because I've gone just a tad over um, and we need some more of this so we get plenty of that on there and I've just printed off a page what I'll do is I'll do the inside cover as well and I'm going to decorate it off off camera because I'm just going to dig through and find all my butterfly bits like I said, it's going to be very similar to what I done yesterday, and you're not going to see that. Oof. That stuff is stinky. Right, holding that down and pressing that down. If you need to add a bit more glue, like I do here, then do it. Because I want that to stick down as well. But you're going to cover that. So you're not really going to see it. But you still want it stuck. You still want it stuck. That stuff is it's like cobwebs. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Okay. So going to let that dry. Again for a few minutes. And you can see that that's sticking out there i'm not gonna fold that as yet because i need that to dry needs it to dry okay so whilst i'm waiting on that i'm gonna get my cardstock for here and here and the paper that i've just printed to put on there so i'll be back with that okay so i think that's dry and i went ahead and cut two pieces of that cardstock and then some of this um, digital paper from Artie Mays and it is from the Vintage Days collection and where's my glue? I'm just going to use some tacky glue to attach that um, just make sure we get plenty around the edges because we don't want it coming off Well, I do hope this has been helpful um, for those of you that asked how this was done. Because this was a learning experience for me yesterday or the day before, actually it was Saturday when I done the first one. But my glue's a little bit dried up. So like I said, you want plenty of glue on here. Don't want that coming off. So this is the second part. And first part is putting the fabric on the cover and have I done that. Right, am I in frame here? Yes, I am. Just want to make sure the direction of this is the right way. And don't want that going too close to that edge. This in here, I mean. Okay. Then this piece. So let's move that out of the way. So if you give this a go, um, if you're on Instagram or on the groups that um, I have, which is Junk Journal Junkies and the chat group, um, give me 
a little mention so I can take a peek at what you've done. Let me see how you've done yours. Okay, and now obviously that's going to get covered up. Um, there we go. If you wanted to tie a closure in or sew a closure in or, or put a closure in, now would be a good time to do that and maybe add some fabric tack to it. But I'm not sure what I'm doing with the closure yet. Don't know what I'm doing with this yet. <laughs> I do. I know it's just going to be similar to what I done yesterday because I really enjoyed that. Um, okay, I think I might need a little bit of glue here. It does. It does indeed. Oh, no, it doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. I think I'm going to go in and wash my hands now because they're very, very gluey. Okay, right. So there we go with the the hollow back spine. Like so. Actually, that could be done with being a little bit more glued in there. It was kind of hard to do that and film at the same time. And I've just squished that a little bit. Okay, so yep, yeah, there we have, there we go. Now I'm going to go and decorate that. So like I said, hope it was helpful and watch part one and thanks for watching. Bye.